This is my new power supply that I will use for my project, the NDP XP from eDesign Miniware. For some time I was looking to change my power supply. I don't usually need a lot of power for my tutorials, because almost always I'm using Arduino and low power digital components, and always need less than 2 amps. But if I need more current, for example for motors, I can always use an external battery. So I wanted to find a decent power supply, but also to be small at the same time. Because years back I started with my first homemade supply, but this one was too big and occupied too much space on my table, but I needed that space for other components that I use for my tutorials. Then I had this other digital supply, which is not bad but is kind of old. So in this video we'll take a look at this small power supply and the digital monitor from eDesign. I will show you how easy it is to use it and tell you a little bit about the specification of the product. And by the way there will be a giveaway of one of these power supplies at the end of the video, so stick around. And also make sure that you subscribe for more and activate the notification bell. A huge thank you to all my patrons for supporting my channel, so let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. This is my new power supply and is made with the MDP M01 power monitor and the MDP P905 digital power supply. I have two packages because we will test the multiple channel functions later and also I will make a giveaway of one of these at the end of the video. Ok, so as a quick unbox. Inside we have separately the monitor and the supply. Inside of the supply case you will also find a USB cable and the red and black power cables with alligator clips at one end and banana connectors at the other side. For the power monitor case we have the unit and the small USB to jack connector that will be used to power the monitor module. So this is all that we receive. Two units, the power cables and two USB cables. Ok, so first thing first. On the back of the power supply case we can see some specifications and also how to upgrade the firmware. To make sure that I have the last version I will do that just now. So go below this video and find a link. So there you can download the latest firmware for the supply. You will get a zip file. Extract the zip files and you will get another folder. Now get the small USB cable and at the same time that you press the set button on the power supply, connect the jack connector to the program input of the power supply and then to your PC. You will get the version of the supply on the small screen and a new drive will appear on your PC. So all you have to do is to copy the hex file from the downloaded zip file on this drive. When you do that the drive will reset and then you will get the same file but with the dot ready termination. So now you could unplug the USB cable and the new firmware is installed. So you could power up the supply with a DC connector from 4.2 up to 30 volts and also using a USB Type-C connector up to 12 volts. For this example I will use this common 12 volts DC transformer that I will plug directly into the input jack. Once I do that I press the run button and the power supply will turn on. Now let's see how easy it is to use it. Connect the power cables at the output. I also connect my multimeter in order to see the output value. If you press the run button you can enable the output. At the same time some LEDs will turn on around the output connectors so you can notice better when the output is on. Ok so now by pressing the set button you can change between voltage and current. Select voltage and spin the knob on the corner of the supply. As you can see the voltage will increase but using very low steps. But now if you maintain press the set button at the same time that you spin the knob, the steps will be a lot bigger. With my input of 12 volts I can have the output up to 30 volts, which is the maximum voltage. So as you can see setting the voltage and the current is very easy. If you maintain press the set button and you press just once the menu button, you get a list with already defined values of voltage and current for 5 volts. 3.3, 12 volts and so on up to 30 volts. If you press the menu button you can see the output power as well. For that I connect a DC motor at the output and now we can see the output current and power values in real time. But if you press menu once again and then rotate the knob you can see the input voltage, the input current limit, 
the temperature of the device and some data about the firmware of the unit. So that's it with this simple supply. It has a high efficiency output and values from 0 up to 30 volts, a very fast response and also wireless connections for this monitor module. So now let's see this one. Connect the jack cable to the program plug of the supply. Then you have to connect the USB to the monitor in order to power it up. So right now it will ask you to make the connection between the supply and the monitor. The data will be sent using radio connection from the supply to the monitor and you could have up to 6 supplies connected at the same time and see the values from each on this screen. That's pretty nice to have when you're working with different supplies values for your projects. Once connected you could see the voltage and the current values on the graph. Using the menu knob you can change the time scale. But the voltage scale is automatic. Now press modify and you could change the values from here. The monitor will send the data to the supply and this will change the output. So a cool thing is that you could now use the monitor with a different USB connection and change the values of the supply from far away. As you can see from this side of the table, I can set the voltage and current output of the supply on the other side. So that's pretty nice. As you can see we have spaces from up to 6 power supplies. So now I turn the other supply that I have. I long press the menu button and enter here and set the TX address menu. As you can see the address of the second supply will now appear on the monitor and we are now synchronized. I now have two units that I could change from one to the other. And now for the final button, if you long press the set button, the monitor will take a screen capture and you could see that later if you connect your monitor to your PC using a USB connector. As a simple test, I connect it to my multimeter and see the precision of the output. I set the voltage to exactly 14 volts and the output of my multimeter is 13.97. The supply got a bit hot even without a load connected to the output. But anyway guys, this was my short review of the new power supply, the MDP XP pack from eDesign. I hope that you like it and make a general idea about this product. It has multiple supplies, it is very easy to use, it has a medium power up to 90 watts and being that up to 30 volts with a 3 amps output, it has a TFT screen monitor, matching control with up to 6 supplies using wireless connections with radio, high speed transit response and overcurrent protection as fast as 4 microseconds. It specifies that it has a streamy load load regulation and also intelligent land loss compensation. Another cool thing is the parallel current sharing for multiple supplies, free combination of collaborative load and intelligent power allocation. It has an input over voltage, under voltage, anti reverse, output anti backflow, and over temperature protection. A maximum storage of 7 megabytes max recording time of 24 hours and a USB firmware upgrade. It could also be portable if you make the input connector from a LiPo battery for example. So there is nothing more to say, it is just a simple supply and I will use it during my future projects. And now about the giveaway. In order to enter and win one of these supplies, once again, you must make a simple account on my new website for creators, electronews.io, and also to add your name and the profile picture in order to make your profile look good. So that's the only thing that I ask for. So create an account and you will be automatically in the giveaway. That will end in a few weeks from now. More details below. Ok guys, consider subscribing and activate the notification bell. So thanks again and see you later guys.